There's a lot of options out there in the Linux world for media players, but my personal favorite is MPV. It's a free, open source, and cross-platform media player, so already that checks a lot of boxes for me and what I look for in my software. And it's also the most lightweight, minimal media player out there, while simultaneously being one of the most powerful media players. So you can think of MPV as the Vim of the media player world, because it really does have a lot of features. If we take a look on their website here, which, by the way, is really well designed, it doesn't even require uh, JavaScript, so I don't have to make uBlock Origin to allow it. That's what I look for in a website as well. So so down here we see some features. We have an on-screen controller, we have GPU video decoding, we have high quality video output, all the things that you would expect from a typical media player. But then we also have this here, scripting. We have powerful scripting capabilities that can make the player do almost anything. And there's a large selection of user scripts on the wiki. So we'll go ahead and click this link here. And sure enough, you can tell by the size of the scroll bar that there really are a whole bunch of different scripts available on this page. Before we really look through this though, I'm gonna do a quick emerge of MPV because, well, I already have MPV on my system, but as you can tell, I'm using Gentoo, and of course, Gentoo compiles all of its packages locally, and for it to compile as fast as it does with my make ops only set to three, it's really going to show off how minimal the code base is. So I'll do this do as emerge MPV, put in my password, and then I'll move back over to Firefox while that runs. So some of the um, scripts that I'm at least interested in are here under the Lewis scripts. I saw a few of them. I'm just gonna scroll down to it. Uh, easy crop, so this looks pretty interesting where you can manually crop a video while it's playing back. Uh, there's an equalizer here, so a five band equalizer with a colorful display. I always like to mess with EQ curves in um, my audio whenever I'm listening to music. And by the way, MPV can be used for audio files as well. And there's another one down here, um, intersub. So yeah, interactive subtitles where you can instantly translate a word or sentence. That seems pretty cool so that you can have different subtitles on your videos. Now that MPV has finished emerging, let's go ahead and use it on a video. So let me go ahead and close out this Firefox here. And I've already gone ahead and downloaded a video from the White House's official YouTube channel. So this is a public domain video. YouTube can't get mad at me for any type of copyright nonsense. In fact, any uh, creative work that's produced and published by a federal US government employee as part of their official duties automatically enters the public domain. So fun legal fact, I guess, for you guys. So I can launch this video by running MPV followed by the name of the video in my terminal. And automatically it goes ahead and starts playing. And since I'm using DWM, it also switches my um, this as my active window. And then I can just make it full screen by hitting F. And P is to pause the video as well as to unpause it. M would be to mute the video as well as to unmute it. Although I don't think I'm picking up any of my desktop audio anyway, so you guys won't be able to hear any of this. Um, there's a lot of different keyboard shortcuts that I'm also gonna leave in the description, but for now, just look at the quality. Hopefully it comes across good in this OBS recording. I did recently set my bit rate a bit higher, but this is still in a VM, so I'm using a virtual graphics driver. But really, look at the clarity here. You can see the individual hairs of the president's head. You can see the differences in his skin tone around here. You can even see some of the individual hairs in his eyebrows here. It's just wonderful quality that's being provided by MPV. So the last thing that we're gonna look at is of course CPU and RAM usage. 
we saw how lightweight MPV is on disk space, but as you guys know, disk space is typically not a super important, super critical resource for us on our system. RAM and CPU usage is much more precious. So I'm gonna open up another terminal here and do an HTOP. And as you can see, now that I've closed Firefox, I'm able to sit just above 156 megs of RAM while this video is playing live. And this is a 1080p full HD video. I think it's also 60 frames a second. So this is a pretty high quality video compared to what's out there. I guess I could have done a 4K one, but I actually couldn't find any 4K videos on the White House's YouTube channel. You'd think that uh, you'd think that the US might spend a little bit more money on something like that. Um, but yeah, the whole system as well as this video is able to play live in under 160 megs of RAM, which by the way, that's lighter than just having a single instance of Chrome with a Chrome tab open. It's amazing what you can accomplish when your software just isn't bloated.